Hello babes, welcome to another episode of Mom Fine. I'm your host, Alexis. So last time we chatted, I was in Iceland. Well, technically I was, <laughs> I was in London talking about Iceland. Or who knows, maybe I was home talking about prices. But I'm in London now. I'm actually leaving London today. Let's just get into London. So when Ali and I landed, we took the National Express bus into the city. We were looking like fucking pack rats because I had so much shit. I'm like stacked to the brim because I've had to buy shit in Iceland on like hiking boots and a jacket like big ass shit you get there we got no time to like really go to the bathroom get water or anything we just hop on this fucking bus and once we get into the, and it was like 30 minutes into the city center and our because our airbnb was like on the outskirts of london west london because london is like absolutely massive i didn't realize how big london was london was like basically a pit stop for us like it was just cheaper to fly into london than it was to scotland and so i was like i'm not trying to spend hell money on accommodation like i don't really the need to be like right in the city center and it was nice to have this airbnb they're working on the trains and so the trains were just kind of a mess like there were delays they were packed especially the central line and so originally it was just supposed to be a bus and a train and five minute walk well we missed the train because we were there but it was so full that we physically could not get on the fucking trip like especially with all of our fucking shit so like that was not gonna work and then we had to like reroute our shit try to get on a different line to get like we just would they recommend they're like hey like don't take the central line from here like hop on a different line and because there's the central line the district line circular line like there's multiple different lines and using maps or google maps is like really helpful in terms of like how to get from point a to point b there's also the tube app that will also help with like the underground system we just mainly use maps and google maps and yeah so it was just like a mess and i would say this was probably Ali and I's worst travel day that we've had in terms of like we were exhausted hadn't eaten didn't have any water it took us about three hours to do an hour type of adventure and like the dreams were hot we had a shit ton of shit it was like one of those moments mentally like you gotta go deep there was a moment on the train where i was so hot i had the worst fucking headache i physically felt like i was gonna pass out i need to just like really hone in on you know my focus of like we just need to figure this out because we got on one train ended up going the wrong way had to get off had to get on another train had to just like ask like multiple people for help of like hey like is this the right way like we're just trying to get here eventually we did it that was just like the travel day like when we got here i just i laid on the floor because like especially like when you're traveling and such like i don't like to lay on the bed with my travel clothes and i just i just fucking laid on the floor and ate a fucking beef stick because i was gonna fucking die and it was just like not good even though we're like so sick of beef sticks and nuts and dried fruit it's such a lifesaver for this situation because i was like i'm fucking so over it that was kind of like us getting into london we kind of regrouped, we showered, and we got ready. We're like, okay, like, it's a Saturday night, like, we haven't eaten anything, like, let's go get, like, some really good food. I recommend doing reservations, especially if you're on a weekend. Ali and I got lucky with the Italian restaurant that we went to, and it was delicious and especially because of the day that we had the lack of food that we had we treated ourselves like it was expensive we definitely spent a decent like for the two days that we've been here like both of our dinners were like quite expensive well we also got a lot of food at this italian restaurant and it was like very cute there was we got like mushroom pizza espresso martini i got some wine and i got an aperol spritz i was like okay i need some vegetables sicily the acting nutritionist that i follow she like she went traveling and she just says like you want to like any opportunity you have like you want to get your greens and like protein fat like you want to just like make sure that you're being intentional with what you're eating so i was like okay let's do the mushroom pizza but like let's also get some greens because i need some vegetables and so we got like the broccolini and like a side salad and then we were like oh my gosh like this ceviche looks so good like let's also get this like delicious ceviche and all of it paired so well with each other and it was just like absolutely phenomenal our waiter and the bartenders were just like having fun with us because whenever anybody hears our accent they're like oh my god you're from america and then when we tell people we're from california we're like oh my god california so we just were having fun like taking photos just like enjoying like it was funny because like we were from iceland like being like hiking and rugged and all that to like literally being dressed to the nines like going out and i <laughs> accidentally spilled my red wine and they were kind enough to not only give me another glass of wine but also Allie got an apple spritz so I mean shouldn't even have spilled my wine but like got a free drink so 
not too bad. And so we ended up spending like 161 pounds at this dinner. But I mean, when you think about like, that was the first thing that we ate all, like spend money on all day. Like I was, I was just like, you know what? Like it's okay to splurge once in a while, especially since like how we had been eating in Iceland was very minimal. Like we went out to dinner, well, not minimal, but like we went grocery shopping and like this was just like, you know, like, yes, it was expensive, but like I wasn't, I was happy to spend the extra funds for like our first night in a city. And so then after filling our drinks and shit, we were like ready to like hit the town. So we like ended up walking for like an hour just like in the city and then training into Soho, which was like, you know, a little party town, a little party like area in London. And we just like bopped from bar to bar and went to Soho. We went to one bar that was like an underground bar and then we got this drink called The Business and it was like 12 pounds and it was like in a little martini glass and it was like Prosecco, mixed, like a mixed drink with wine. It was really refreshing and it was good but the bar was like the downstairs like basement bar like it was like kind of small and like we just like had our drinks and like danced a little bit and then we left. After that, we went to another, like, clubby bar. And here, the thing with, like, London, though, like, any, like, high-end kind of club, like, we tried to go to a club later, and you were like, you have to have reservations. So we just, we didn't really plan London. Like, London, just, we were like, let London be whatever it was going to be. And this is what, how London was. After we, like, bopped around a little bit more, got some Jaeger shots at other places, just walked around this, like, little, like, couple of, of streets of like Soho we ended up going back to the original club bar that we got stamps at and hung out there for like most of the night because Allie being the little social butterfly that she is I'm like a little bit more like I am a very social person but like I don't know I feel like as I've gotten a little older I've just you know kind of like stayed more reserved and like not I don't know but she was like I'm bored let's like make friends I was like okay you do it so she went up to the guy who were Swiss and asked if they know any other places just you know to conversation flowing they were like no but that just kind of like opened the conversation of like us getting to know them like where they were from vice versa and that kind of just kicked off the night of like us hanging out with these two guys and you know she got wild me and Ali were literally like sharing men we would be like they were buying us drinks shots like all of this stuff and like I don't really drink that much and so I was like okay like one let's pay for ourselves water and you know let's be good like no need to you know get like super super fucking rowdy like all this here to have a good time well we got fucking rowdy and launchy like i can't even imagine like what people thought of watching us if they were because all and i would be like dancing like i would have the guy that i was dancing with she would have the guy that she was dancing with we were like do you want to switch like let's do no reverse this shit and so we literally would i would grab her and like dance and like move it and so then i would be like with the guy that she was dancing with and vice versa and then like she kissed both of them <laughs> like at one point like one of them kissed her and then the other one kissed her and then we were like talking about that and then she was like i think it's like you have to kiss them now like compare like all the stuff so then i kissed one and then i kissed the other one and then we kind of like settled into like the ones that we were like vibing the most with and i was just like along for the ride like we're all just having a good time but we were like just dancing and vibing and drinking and then i don't even know really how I made eye contact, I made, okay, I'm assuming, like, I made eye contact with this girl, like, I had, like, a full-on little, like, you know, hot makeout girl sesh, and I think I've chatted about this on the podcast before, but I've definitely always wanted to, like, explore my sexuality, and I definitely think, like, I would consider myself bi when I've, like, full-on, like, gone all the way with a girl, because I could just, like, love making out with them, and, like, I know when I watch porn, like, I'm super into girl on girl, but I think I'm still kind of, like, discovering that side of me and when I met saw this girl like we just like I was dancing the guy behind me the guy that I was with was behind me and then I just like made eyes with this girl and then she came and was like dancing on me and I was in the middle at first it was like very like cute and like at the bed like intense like hot and I was like whoa and then we were like grinding and dancing on each other 
And then she was like putting her hands in my hair and then she started making it out with me and I was like, ha ha ha. I was like getting turned on and I was like, oh my god, yay, like, you know, self-discovery, like figuring it out, like so fun. I ended up like leaving the guy that I was with just for like a little bit to go dance with her. I just had like a really great time and was just like so into it but then unfortunately her friend had come up like three times it was like okay like we need to leave like say your goodbyes like we have to go and she left and then I went back to the Swiss guy and then we just like continued the party and then we had left that bar to go check out this club but then couldn't get in the club so I went back to the bar and hung out there for like a little bit longer and like we just were all we were just like fucking whores <laughs> I hit a wall. I was like, I think I'm done. Like, I would like to go home now. Like, I, and then maybe around like 3.30, I was like, okay, like I'm fucking starving. It's time for some food. And I was like, I want a burrito. Like if you're in Cali or I don't know, all the birthdays is just like a Cali thing, but like the best drunchies ever. And I was like, I just want a burrito. And But instead there were Shake Shack. So I was like, I'm not eating McDonald's. I'm gonna shit myself. And so they took us to the Shake Shack and it was exactly what I needed. Like there's a video of me standing with this guy and I'm just I look so hummered I'm shoveling french fries in my mouth like it's no tomorrow like I'm literally just all with like my burger and all of it but it was like a necessity it was literally a necessity like what the fuck else am I getting? like I needed it I was gonna die like waking up there oh so it's, it's continuing it wasn't even the next morning and then it was kind of like okay I did not want to go home with them. I wanted to go back to our Airbnb. I wanted my pajamas. I wanted to wash my face. Like, I was like, this was fun. This was hot. Like, uh, but I'm not, not going to go home with you. And so we say our goodbyes. I order us an Uber. So the lights are police cars. Don't worry. Allie and I are not getting arrested. But some fights. We should be, we should be arrested for the night we just had. It's almost 4 a.m. And we're literally sitting in the streets of Soho. Of Soho, London. Found out my guy's name at the very end when he bought me Shake Shack. <laughs> they were Switzerland. They were, they were Switzerland. <laughs> I'm Switzerland. <laughs> they were Swiss. They bought us drinks so and Shake drinks. Shack. <laughs> so many drinks. Such a slight. Like, what? Ali so made that happen. She initiated conversation. I was so bored. I just wanted entertainment. <laughs> and this is where it got me. 4 a.m. sitting on the streets. Oh, okay, well, okay, bye. <laughs> We start walking, and Ali and I, you know, just having a conversation. This three, these three British guys stop us, and they're like, "Are you American?" And we were like, "Yes." And then they were like, "Oh," and literally glommed onto us, and like they were cute, like especially one of them. He was just like blue-eyed, blonde hair, like adorable little British guy. <laughs> Like, it's so cute. I ended up chatting with them. Our Uber canceled on us. And so then we were like, were, you know, still in the city at like 4.30 a.m. And I was like, okay, my phone just fucking died. And uh, we need to get weird, like a solid 30 minutes away from our hostel, like or, or Airbnb. Like, what is our move here? Like, we need to go. Then Ali's phone died. So these guys ordered us an Uber. Ali, somehow, somebody put the address in wrong because we ended up 30 minutes away from our Airbnb, we were just like, what, like, what the fuck? We should have never let that Uber leave. We should have never left the first Uber leave that, like, I had ordered. But secondly, we shouldn't have met, let the Uber leave that dropped us off there. As soon as we realized that it was not the right place, we should be like, hey, like, we need to reorder. Please accept it. Like, here's the right address. Like, please take us there. Not really like, sure, like, what these guys thought, like, where, because they were, like, an hour out of the city as well. Um, so basically, like, we're stranded for, like, an hour and a half. So putting us still out and about at around 5.30, straight up about to watch the sunrise. Eventually, we get an Uber. These guys come back and, like, we were young to shut the fuck up. Don't think that we're allowed to have guests here. Like, we're staying in somebody's home. Like, if you're going to come up with us, like, you need to like, shut, shut the fuck up. Oh, I shut the fuck up. And so basically how we ended, one of the guys, because they were brothers, one of the guys was on the and the other one, they're like, they're both cute, but like, the cuter one, was, uh, ended up in the pond hanging out. And at one point, I don't even care, like, I don't understand, like, what even got into it, but he was in the middle. Ali was like, he was like cuddling Ali, but like also cuddling me at the same time. And let's just say, I eventually turned over and was like, I'm gonna go to bed, I'm done. 
Um, and you know, Allie and him, you know, so I'm little knight, even though I was literally in the bed. I don't care. Like, I'm a team player. Like, I was passed the fuck out. Allie was, like, so concerned that I was going to wake up, but she knew that I was passed out because I was, like, <laughs> done up and, like, passed out. So I ran and I probably fell asleep around, like, 6.15, 6.30 in the morning. I woke up and these guys were leaving at, like, 9 a.m. Snuck them out of our Airbnb and we called it. Called it a day. It called it a night. And it was just a while. And so Ali and I basically stayed in bed till almost 2 a.m., like 2 p.m. Like I was exhausted, not only from this crazy ass fucking night, but from the wildness of just the travel day, the lack of sleep from the night before. Like it was just like insane. And we ended up going back out into the city around five to get dinner to walk around we went we did like big ben and the tower bridge and just like walked around for like a little bit and like just took photos and just like explored you know london in the daylight and then we went to a tapas restaurant near the tower bridge on the water and so that was like basically london like that was our london experience like we did not plan much of london i don't feel like I've been out like I feel like there are like more experiences like restaurant vibes like they're really good restaurants like all of that but like the UK is expensive and so like our dinner our tapas was like 66 pounds and but we got like nine like eight things and dessert and so overall like I'm not like if you've been to London and like you're like oh my god like I absolutely love London like that's so great like so great but like it is a city and don't feel the need to like come back and like see more of it like if it was ever like a pit stop again like I wouldn't be mad about it but I don't think I would like come back to um you know explore more but I also do know like I follow a content creator like she married um a British guy I don't know if he's like from London but like she has like heaps and heaps of London guides and like loves London and so but I just it's all in your preference and all that good stuff but that's just like kind of like where I'm at speaking just about London I mean overall it was it was a time London was a time thank you London uh we're heading to Scotland Ali's about to live out of fantasy the last time that she was on the podcast and we were traveling together like she was in a four year she'd been in a damn near four year relationship well she's not in a relationship like we're both single this time around and so we're just having a, a great time Ali's on hinge I want to get in my hinge activated but I need my phone number my phone can't because I don't have sim card in so i'm trying to figure out a work around that whole thing overall london was good love our airbnb host like we were able to do laundry we're gonna have breakfast here she folded our laundry for us like such a dog because we hung it outside to dry right close to a train station so even though we are outside of the city like it's not like insanely crazy to like get home and stuff only like because of the train situation it made it more difficult but overall like it's like pretty much london in a nutshell we are training to Scotland, and so I'm gonna get ready. You ready? You ready for Scotland? You ready? You ready? Let's talk money in London. Well, obviously now I'm home. I'm on like a crazy health skin kick because my acne is so fucking bad. I'll do a whole app on like health and travel health and like all that stuff, but that's what you're wondering. Like, oh, what's in my glass? It's carrot juice. And because I got a juicer on Amazon for like 50 bucks. We're in my home era right now. Well, I've been like traveling around Cali. Season three is gonna be so good, but we're obviously still in season two and we're in London. So let's get into money. That's what you really wanna know is how much money I spent. And I will kind of say that London is expensive like I thought Iceland was gonna be expensive but London like the food and like yeah like London was just like I don't know like was it expensive maybe so we're gonna find out how much I actually spent and I would say that like I on this trip I did my best to keep track of when Ali paid for things and when I paid for things and to keep notes of like I but obviously like human error I missed some things like so this is just like the best of my ability in terms of like keeping track of how much money we spent like I did a like really good job of just like making sure that I fucking got everything for our Airbnb we spent $164 and so that was split between two people we were on the outskirts of the city good 
get transportation, when the trains weren't all fucking fucked up. If I was gonna be in London longer and if I like wanted to be like in the hub of London, I would wanna stay closer. But like I said, like London was a pit stop place for us. So we just needed, and it was nice to have an Airbnb. So our flight from Iceland to Scotland was $125. And then on public transportation, like from the London airport to the city center was $27. And then on the entire, like the time that we were there, I spent like $25, like tapping my card. So in London, there's this thing called the Oyster card. I looked into it. I asked the Airbnb lady if we should get it and she said no. So we just used our cards to top in and top off just the tap of the Metro and the buses and stuff. And that like worked fine for us. If you are going to be there for like a week and a half it might be beneficial to get the oyster card but like you have to like I don't know if it's like digital or you could like get it um on your phones or if you actually have to pick a card like there's these where you could like buy it and get it shipped to you and I was like I'm just like not trying to fuck with that so you can just like tap on and tap off and then it's just like fucking fine I like so I don't know the lady we asked the lady at like a local was like you don't need it so do with that information as you will. In terms of transportation, $178. From Iceland to Scotland, public transportation to into the city, and then just like hopping on and off trains while we were there. Not bad. And then in terms of food, we spent $295. And that was at those two restaurants. That's just for fucking dinner. I don't even know. Did we even eat breakfast? No. So that was like dinner. Like $208 were at, was at the Italian restaurant, which that makes sense. Like we splurged and like we spent, like we had a good time. We had multiple drinks, hella food. Like I, yeah, that makes sense. It, it was, it was a $200 dinner. But then the Bravas, which we got like tapas and we got like a salmon and potatoes and bell pepper and like this salad we actually sent the salad back because it sucked and then like pickles and pudding which the pudding kind of had like a <laughs> like a snotty texture to it and it was like still good but if you're a texture person it was like mm -hmm. it literally kind of tasted like jizz in my mouth so that was like $87 I wouldn't say it was the best place I've ever eaten. Like, I know London probably has really great restaurants, and the Italian restaurant was bomb, but this place, I mean, it wasn't the best, it wasn't the worst, it was kind of like, eh. Like, do I think it was worth 87? Nah, I don't know. I don't know. Now for booze, with honestly how fucked up we got, $39. That was like the first drink where we got the martinis and then hella fucking Jaeger shots. And then those guys just fucking bought us the rest of our night. So I mean, 39 bucks. Not bad for how fucking wasted. Okay, so four thirty nine because I had to cut the Airbnb in half and the restaurant bills in half. So like four thirty nine, which okay, accommodation, nice dinner, transportation, okay. That's not bad. I feel like I could have done better, but you could do it cheaper, but like we were fucking dying and I needed a good fucking Italian dinner in London. So yeah, not bad. Okay, 439. And how much did we spend in Scotland or in Iceland? 680 for three, not, oh my fuck. I need to go back to fucking Iceland, fuck. Yeah, I don't wanna shit on London. It's just not my vibe. Like I just don't think I'm in a city vibe era right now. Like I'm very into my like granola girl, hiking nature, waterfalls, epic scenery like get me out in the middle of nowhere and I think that's why I'm just feeling just like eh, like London just wasn't for me I don't want to say that because we had a lot of fun like a big like it was a lot of fun partying drinking like it was fun but I think I like said this like when I was podcasting at our Airbnb I just would I just don't feel the need like there's so many things that I want to do in my life and so many things that I want to see that I would not spend the time energy and money to go back to London again so yeah, that's like basically all I have. I hope this helps. Like, oh, but if you want to go to London, go to London, honey. Like, don't like, don't let me deter you from going to London. Like there are restaurants and museums and art and history and culture and have fun. Like if you want to go to London, go to London. This is how much I spent. If it's a pit stop, it's a great pit stop. If it's cheaper to fly into London, go and fly into London and have a fucking, literally do what we and Ali did. We had a fucking wild ass night and it was what we needed. And so it was fine. I hope this helps. I hope this gives you a little bit of an idea of like how much money I spent in London, my thoughts about London, if you know. I will have a guide, my guide is in, in the description below. So you have like all the spots and just to sweeten, sweeten it up, I'm gonna do an additional, like some additional research for you. So I'll have more spots in, cause like, 
I am a type A motherfucking researcher. I'm a great trip planner and a great researcher. So just to like give you some more love for your London trip, I'll have just of my own research and like other spots to try in the London guide. And so yeah, go check that out. And I hope you have a really great and safe trip. And yeah, send me an email. Let's chat. If like this helps you, if you just like want to chat, like let's fucking chat, bitch. And okay. And then if not, like if you want to continue following me and Allie, the next episode is Scotland. And if you liked this episode, if it helped you, please give mom fine five stars, leave a comment, review, please. And yeah, if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's ma.onfine. My personal is at Lexi Brown with three ends. And then my for photography page is browna.photography. If you just want to see just like beautiful all my photography photos and stuff, that is that page. So yeah, come find me. Come chat with me. DM me. Let's chat. Let's hang. Let's become friends. Okay. Love you. Bye. See you on the next step. No, we're not going on my